Hello, and welcome to the Metro MLS webinar, Reviewing History Search in Flex MLS. In this webinar, I'll review what a history search is and how to use it. So let's begin. So a history search is when you pop in an address, you enter in an address to the history search screen, and you like to see the history of that particular address. So one of the ways that you can create a history search is to click on your menu button, and then when it opens up underneath the search section, click on history. So it'll bring you to the history search screen. So if you have an address, you can just enter that in. Well, you have to have an address to do this. You enter your address in here. So I'm just going to enter in an address. And the from and the to is if you're not sure or if there's a range of addresses that you want to do this for on a particular street name, you can. But it's just a singular address that I'm doing. So I'll enter that in here. And then I'm just going to come over here and enter in the street name. Now, the reason why I'm not entering in a street direction in here um, is just my personal preference. When I'm searching on a street name that happens to be a word, I tend not to enter that in here. I'd get better results, I think. But if I were entering in a street name that was a number, like 119th Street or 124th Street, then I have a tendency to enter in a direction because there's a possibility of that address existing on the opposite end of the, the direction for that street name. All right. So that's my house number. That's my street name. And I don't enter in street or boulevard or avenue or anything like that. I just simply enter in the name of the street. Then I'll do my county. Then I'll do my municipality. Now, if you're not sure of the county or the municipality, you don't have to enter in that in there. You could just pop in just the street, the house number and the street name and let the system give you what it has that relates to both of those pieces of information. All right. But I've got it. So I've got my county and my municipality in there. If it was a particular list number that I wanted to look for for the history for that address because it might pop up with multiple I could if I wanted to in a status date but this is good enough what I've got in here I want the system to give me whatever it has for this particular address then I'm gonna hit next alright so here's my history search results for this address on West Clark Street in Wauwatosa so you can see here I've got five different list numbers so the earliest one is down here so it expired out at this list number, it sold at this list number, it expired out at this list number, it expired out at this list number, and it sold at this list number. Um, over here, that's the status date that these statuses happened on. That was the last list price for the, each of those list numbers. And then for the sold, it gives me the price that they sold at. If I were to click a list number right here that would open up the data sheet for that particular listing. These little eyes that you see here in the boxes, that's for information. So if you wanted to see the information on that particular list number, you can just click that eye and then here it'll open up the listing history for that particular list number. So there's the address, there's the listing member with the listing office, the date that the listing was entered in, the current, the last status, and what it sold for, for it sold. So there's the original list price, the original list dates right there. There's a column for date, time, who changed, who made that particular change, what was changed, the old value and the new value. So this reads from the earliest date right here. So here on January 15th of 2010 at 226 p.m., the Shore West Realtors administrative account entered in this listing as a new listing. Okay, they copied it from another listing, which we did see that list number over in the screen there. Okay, so they added some pictures and then they made a text change to the public remarks. That was what was there, and then they changed it to that. Then they added some documents, lead paint, seller condition. Then on the 15th of February, there was a list price change from 350 to 325. Then a couple days later, it went contingent. All right. Then in March 10th, 
active with offer to pending. So it's showing you the date that it changed, the date and time, and what account changed it. When you see this, like Shore West Realtors, that's the office's administrative account. This right here was a process that was run by us. Um, again, there's more Shore West Realtors, so it looks like the office always did that, not the listing agent. So here, you'll see when it closed out, the selling member, the sold date, the sold price, and the terms of sale. Okay, then you've got a little back link here at the bottom just to go back to the previous screen, and then you can do it with the previous listing, just like that. Okay, and there's a back link at the top here. All right, you're probably saying, oh, you know, sometimes you might want to print this stuff. It's really not easy to print it for this screen. I'm going to show you another way to view the history, and it'll be easier to print the information if you'd like to print it that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search on that address. So I'm going to use this field up here at the top, my little search field here, and enter in that address. So 11119 West. There it is right there. So you see it comes up in all in the one that's right there. So that's the Clark Street address. So I'm just going to click on that. All right. So here's the listing. Navigate to the History tab. Everything that we saw in the History screen is listed here. And if I wanted to view it, I can view it all in the same screen just by clicking the plus sign, and it'll open up to that same information, but it's all in the same screen. All right, now if you want to print it, you go up to print. You come over here in the panel here and choose your option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a check in history. I don't want the detail sheet, so I'm going to take that out. All right, so I've got here, you've got two choices, property history and listing history. If you select property history, it looks like this. So I'll select that and hit preview. So it brings you that screen, but it's not opened up. If you want it all expanded, you select listing history, hit preview, and that's everything expanded out for you. Then you can go ahead and you can hit print, or if you wanted to save it, download it as a PDF file and use it for later or email it to someone else, you can. You can email it directly from here. Um, I think this is an easier way to view um, the history of a property than the other way because that way you can see it all in the same screen and you've got more options versus the history screen does not have that option but it's still useful okay this will conclude our webinar for history in flex MLS